The whole effing show. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds, Rob Van Dam. A man who lives his life way up high. No one in this business gets as high as RVD with the five-star frog splash. Which reminds me, guys, it's 418. I'll be back in a few minutes. Whoa, whoa, where are you going? There will only be one. Rob Van Dam. And his opponent from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Christian. This is a competitor who isn't happy with a win unless they get a handshake from their opponent afterwards. A real respect for the business. Can they even work their hands properly? Apparently, they lack a spine. He's been demanding this match for quite some time, and now he is ready to compete. Gentlemen, you are looking at a man who is sick of the doubters, sick of being questioned about his potential. And I can't disagree with him. I expect tonight to be a night where he can silence the skeptics and prove to be the future of this company. It will be a tall order, but the confidence he possesses could take him very far. Well, the always exciting Rob Van Dam will be looking to get the better of him tonight. A prototypical superstar in the best ways. RVD has cleared the way for many superstars to follow in his path. And I don't expect this to be the end of his road tonight. Flashback! Getting out of the ring. Smart decision here. Shake off the cobwebs away from your opponent. Ooh, stinging kick. Look at this. Snap suplex. Two. Ah, look at this. Just cranking it out. Cranking the head. Any words of wisdom for Rob Van Dam as he attempts to tackle tonight's challenge? I've got two words, actually. Stay fearless. If RVD's willing to go for high-risk offense and put his body on the... From the top, through the air, and connects! That's gravity taking a break before coming down like thunder. And he's able to fight Van Dam off. And gets tossed back into the mat. Four. Up for the electric chair, down for the drop. Ooh. 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 He's lining him up. Lift off. What? And that was a collision you don't want to be on the receiving end of. Came down like a wrecking ball on a cinder block. Takes their breath out. Effective counter. He heads outside. Countouts legal in this match. Absolutely spiked. DDT. Four. And go. 
got their opponent's arm. And a carefully measured knee drop. And he slides him back to the mat. Oh, shoulder, elbow, all affected with that. Rolling neck snap. RVD is getting picked apart right now. Yeah, RVD needs to find that spark. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Taking out the arm, great strategy. He may be in a bad way here. Van Dam using whatever avenue of attack he can find. Scoop slam sets things up. Oh, what a suplex. Great counter. Knee right to the gut. Shoulders down. He got the shoulder up in time. This is where great cardio makes all the difference, helping you stay alive deep into the match. And that was an effective attack, guys. Oh, man. When it comes to this rivalry, I think we all thought cooler heads would end up prevailing, but that has absolutely not been the case. Oh, yeah, Michael. Right now, there is nothing that can stop the collision course that these superstars are on. Sure, it's been messy, but that's part of this business. Not every rivalry is a sportsmanlike affair where you shake hands before and after every match. But this is very much the opposite. Drop kick! Great athleticism. His opponent is just over. RVD! Monster! Drop! Splash! RVD was right on target. What? Only two? Within inches of victory, only to have it snatched away. This match just keeps getting more and more exciting. And Rob's not one to get too frustrated, but you have to think the sense of urgency is starting to kick in. Nothing prototypical about RVD! He's able to sidestep there. Time to flip it. Throw switch. And that can keep RVD down. Is it enough? The cover! That is an absolutely huge win here tonight. Congratulations to this competitor. Wait a second. The oh, loser no. of this match. Well, try to, to attack, but... They paid for it. Hey, good on the winner. Great wherewithal. A loss with a side of humiliation. Not a good night for this superstar. Check on the referee. I mean, it's blatantly obvious the superstar didn't do it intentionally, but the official's down, and now anything truly can happen. Yeah, there's no official out here to keep the order. Can we get some help for our official? The bell rings coming right off the heels of some underhanded tactics. Yeah, guys, there is no way that doesn't play a part in this one. Saxton, in this business, you've got to keep your head on a swivel, no matter who you are. That was just a quick reminder. Just toss their opponent. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. Hammerlock. Hammerlock. Reverse DDT. Indy was scouted there. And another counter. Looking for more damage here. Release back suplex. Ouch. It might not be flashy, but sometimes you just got to toss another person to make a statement. Oh, man. <laughs> Hammerlock. Hammerlock. Reverse DDT. Ooh, what a forearm club. Torres fends that off. Nice takedown. As far as well-rounded superstars go, Indy Hartwell might be the... That could be it. Barely kicks out. No, 
Not yet. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. And Indy is taking control. Indy cannot be stopped right now. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. She's starting to drag a little bit. Indy is not going to squander an opportunity when it presents itself. And we just saw that. Sequence of reversals here. Both superstars clearly studied game tape ahead of time. A oh, dragon screw ankle breaker. Wow, that hurt. Oh, able to counter. Both competitors showing how well they know one another. Swinging reverse STO plants it. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Face first off the knee. A sound suplex. Stomping down. The fatigue is setting in for her. Got the head scissors on. Sharp elbow. Point of the elbow. Nailed it. Strong takedown there. And surely she hears how high the referee's count has gotten at this point. Well, if she does, maybe she just doesn't care. She starts to rise back up, but does she know where she is? Able to sidestep it. Ooh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. You can sense what her intentions are here. Nice springboard drop kick. Tensions remain high as this rivalry for the win. Two. And a win here tonight. That'll change your career. Here is your winner, Indy Hartwell. They might not be in the best shape right now, but they have to be feeling good after that win. I'll give them one thing. They definitely know how to take a beating. I wouldn't exactly call the cheap shot they took a beating, but I'll agree that their resilience paid off here. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first, from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Superstar. Matches like these, with talent of this caliber, this is why sports entertainment is an art form. A competitor with his share of detractors, but he wants to prove them all wrong here tonight.
and his partner from Venice Beach, California, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Icon. I can't watch this entrance. I heard this one backstage talking up their own work non-stop. Well, why don't they get in the ring and prove it, huh? Uh, that's what they're doing right now, Corey. Well, good. Let's see what they've got then. A man who elevates his game every week. He is competing at his highest level yet. And from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds. The WWE Universe has been counting the days, hours, and minutes for this match to start. And the countdown is almost over. He says it's all about dominance tonight and plans on showing why everyone backstage should be scared.
The WWE Tag Team Division is more competitive than ever. As these two teams get into it, I can almost guarantee this match will be one to remember. The standards for tag team action just keep getting higher and higher around here. Just mounted with punches and not... Oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. To the body. Punch to the stomach connects. Uh oh. Kick to the midsection prevents the attack. Power slam. Good night. Start counting, Saxton. One, two, three. We could be here Lord. all day. Power. I think you're right. All night long. This is it. Quick count after one. He's still got life in this matchup. Oh, impact to the stomach. Gets him with the counter. Boom, what a punch. Ooh. Come on, count along if you want. The 10 beats of the bottom. Shot after shot after shot. Good grief. Able to interrupt the attack. Being carried around with ease. You can't prepare your face for that. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Boom. Tag is registered. Yes, tag. Textbook jumping clothesline. Oof. He's returning fire. Oh, right to the chest. Oh, that was just malicious. Just disrespectful. Oh, saw it coming. Boom, right across the small of the back. Big punch finds its mark. In off the tag. Textbook jumping clothesline. Oof. Snapmare takeover. Followed by big boot. Schoolboy pitting combination. Oh, maybe not, but power. He's starting to struggle here. Yeah, they've stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Up and around, down with a tilt the world backbreaker. Uh, don't think he was quite expecting that tag. And oh, and a right hand made him pay for it. A tag of a different kind. What has happened to this tag team? What just happened? Sexy with their history, you probably should have saw this coming. I'm with Cole. That was either the inevitable breakdown coming or an amazingly well laid trap. That's a great point, Corey, but first things first, we have a handicap match on our hands now, guys. Oh, it is over! Things seem to be escalating between them. Yeah, Michael, what started as a disagreement looks like it has turned into bad blood. How does anyone have this much in them at this point? He's tagging out. 
Oh, look at this. What a headbutt. He's struggling a bit here. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. Spear! That was vicious. Just like he envisioned. Is it enough? The cover! Raise the roof! He's got the victory! Here are your winners. You have to be feeling absolutely gutted losing after going through a dispute like that. Yes, yeah, Saxon, I can't imagine what that feels like right now. You got to wonder if it's possible to get back on the horse after that. This loss is only going to exacerbate their disagreement from earlier. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from El Paso, Texas, weighing in at 228 pounds, Eddie Guerrero. And without question, one of the most pivotal superstars in the history of our industry. Now you're right, Byron, a true hero on both sides of the Monday Night Wars. From WCW Cruiserweight Innovator to WWE Champion and Hall of Famer. Well, Eddie Guerrero was always seen as an underdog. Granted, he would cheat on occasion to even the playing field. But hey, how can he not get behind a guy like Latino Heat? And his opponent from Iceland, weighing in at 300 pounds, the Blueprints. The feeling, the electricity in the arena right now is unlike anything I've ever felt in quite some time. This match is going to be good. Somehow, this superstar has to maintain his composure. Otherwise, Eddie will certainly get in his head in short order. You're looking at a well-traveled superstar who has seen a lot in the ring. With experience comes confidence. There's nothing you can throw at this competitor that could phase him in the slightest. He'll be looking to utilize that wisdom in this matchup. Too bad he's got to deal with one of the true craftsmen of the game, Eddie Guerrero. Better hide the steel chairs and keep an eye on the referee because Eddie is creative when it comes to cutting corners, exploiting weaknesses, and catching you unaware. Oh, Rob kick! You really want to pose in Eddie Guerrero tonight. Corey, what do you focus on to score the victory in this match? You need to adapt to Guerrero's playbook, which is a complete lack of a rule book. Be aware. Here he goes for the win. Shoulder up, and the referee ends the count. Not getting a two count at this point. No. Suicide dive. That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. Yeah. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. Oh, God. This match grinded him down a little. And Eddie feeling the groove here tonight in this match. Drop kick. Latino Heat doing some damage. Guerrero's bouncing the opposition around like a lowrider. DDT. And Eddie pays for leaving an opening. 
He needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up. Bang! That's that vintage Guerrero cockiness. Snapmare! Right across the face! Oh, man. And just a high proficiency of attacks from him now. Just producing an onslaught. The cover, shoulders down. He forces a break before the count of two. He's far from finished. Big knee to the midsection. And Eddie's the one being exploited. Just breaking down the opponent. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. Piercing the throat. Oh, flapjack. Gosh, landing face first. That move had the amount of force akin to a natural disaster. Toss back into the ring. Big knee to the midsection. A steady stream of moves taking out Eddie. Guerrero's been... No way. Oh, no! You have daring, and you have stupid. That was stupid. It was a daring decision that didn't provide the expected result. Yeah, stupid. Oh, the knee takes a big hit. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. Ronnie Bulldog! That's that vintage Guerrero cockiness. The referee continues the count, may call it soon. There is some power behind that punch. Big overhand. Turning the tables there. What a clothesline. Ouch. Cover. Is it enough? He breaks the ref's count after one. Not quite enough to put him away. Able to avoid any harm there. Up and all the way down, falling power bomb. Two count. I oh, roll the shoulder out at the last moment. This is amazing. Oh, the reversal by Eddie Guerrero. Oh, oh God. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Right to the hand. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Stomp after stomp. Relentless. The stomp in every single part of his body. Eddie Guerrero firing up on the assault. Yeah, Eddie just can't be stopped now. Uncorks another one. Boom! Byron, can this superstar do this? Well, I think we're seeing it, Michael. This superstar headed down that road to victory. Reversal! Can he take advantage? Bullseye with the drop kick. Oh! Wrist lock, and they'll turn it into a top rope hurricane. The fight is being brought right to him. He's got to wake up and get in the fight. Drop kick. He's heading up top. 
Thinking big. Look at the high frog splash does it. Did Eddie get enough of it? There's two. Oh, kicks out, kicks out. Within inches of victory, only to have it snatched away. This match just keeps getting more and more. Look at the uh oh. He steers clear of contact. Set him up, it could be time for the triple verticals. Spin those hips, Eddie. There's number two. And here comes three of these. That is why you can't leave any weaknesses open for Eddie to exploit. Look at the high people lost on the frog splash. Here's Eddie's chance. No, he beats the count. I don't know how he just kicked out, and I'll tell you what, I don't really think he knows either. And we know Eddie must be feeling desperate right now, unsure of how much more he needs to do. Bodies must be writhing in pain right now. The breaking point must be on the horizon. But yet they continue forward, showing no desire to quit. The WWE Universe is showing their appreciation for the action they're seeing. It has been an absolute war out there. These superstars' efforts are not lost on this crowd. And Latino Heat is really from the top. Oh, an elbow drop. Oh, piercing elbow. Get back here. Leg Lariat. And that prevents Eddie's attack. If he was looking for an opportunity to pull a 180, that could be it. Oh, my goodness. Dynamite leaping tombstone. Eddie's in a bad spot. Try to end it. And a kick out. No one saw that coming. You have to be impressed with how much Eddie can endure, how much he's able to still fight on. Damn. Oh, my goodness. Dynamite leaping tombstone. That kind of move makes a statement. That's got to be it. Two. He refuses to stay down. Pure instinct. That move has brought victory before, but not on this occasion. Might be time to think outside the box. And we see him take yet another shot to the body. What a drop kick. Launched with a belly to belly. Afraid of what we are about to see! Spike into the ring apron. They are fading off the WWE fans now pinning the arm down and oh, oh. stop right to the hand. Latino Heat doing some damage. A swift rhythm of offense here from Guerrero. The stomp in every single part of his body. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Looking for a high-risk, high-reward situation. From the top, elbow drop. Good Lord. Does he have him here? And picks up a monumental victory. Here is your winner, Eddie Guerrero. A statement victory by this guy tonight. This is a victory you could truly be proud of. A victory earned through sheer tenacity and force of will. The son of a dream, the American nightmare. Michael, a man who redefined himself away from WWE and is now a main event star.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. A man who's made it his mission to show the power of the Rhodes name. The son of the dream who is set to become every competitor's worst nightmare in WWE. Cody Rhodes is a superstar who possesses an in-ring IQ second to none. Well, Cody Rhodes has certainly learned from the best, and Rhodes has become even better in his time away from WWE. But is better good enough these days? And his opponent from New York, weighing in at 250 pounds, Joe Hogan. Take a look at the talent in competition here. You can see exactly why the WWE Universe is so amped up for this one. This man may consider himself a star, but Cody intends on leaving him in the dust. Kicking things off with Cody Rhodes. It's been a long, strange road home for the American Nightmare, but Cody Rhodes has made it clear that he's not about the past anymore. He's back in WWE to cement his legacy and finish the task he started. It's all or nothing time for the grandson of the plumber. All or nothing indeed as Rhodes looks to take a big step here tonight. But he'll be facing someone who has been looking for a challenging fight for quite some time now. Hopefully, he'll get it tonight. Which of Cody's skills do you think will come to bear tonight? In his time away from WWE, Cody has become a next-level brawler. And honestly, that might be his best bet here. Just get down and dirty with the competition. Don't back down. Remind them he's the son of a son of a plumber. Oh, dragon suplex! Double underhook applied. Butterfly suplex! Wrenching the arm, driven all the way down for a European arm breaker. Look at the arm for a Fujiwara arm bar. Ah, oh, Fujiwara arm bar applied. Pinning down their opponent's arm. And a carefully measured knee drop. He's taking some good hits. Oh, that'll weaken your arm. Rolling neck snap. Cody Rhodes felt that coming. Put in a position now. Oh, right across the throat. Dropping the bow. to connect on the springboard. And well-timed maneuver there. Does he get him here? He's able to beat a two count. We are this far into the match. Where is this energy coming from? Locking up the legs. Ah, oh, Cloverleaf. So much torque on the back. Look at the angle. It's nasty. Yikes, that'll need to wake you up or knock you out. Cody's eyes look glazed over. Three, no, a two count. 
The never-ending fight in Cody Rhodes. Absolutely undeniable right now. The high risk. Look out below. Big time risk pays off. The daredevil in you comes out when you take risks like that. Ah, uh, setting them up for a fisherman's buster. And he tosses him back in now. The sound of this crowd is deafening, and he's asking for more. The modified cloverleaf applied into a backbreaker. Fantastic. Cody is losing command in this one. Yeah, Cody's having trouble fighting back. He's turning the tables. And Cody puts a stop to the momentum that was mounting against him. Cody isn't allowing that burst of attacks to put an end to him. Cody is locked in the crosshairs now. He gets out of the way. Big time power slam. Cover. Fights the shoulder up in one. I don't know what more this superstar can. Cody Rhodes has his opponent right where he wants him. For the crossroads. Cody Rhodes nailed it. Shoulders down. He's still in this fight. He had to dig deep to break that pin. But can it be done again? How much is left after that? Disbelief on the face of the American nightmare. What's he going to have to do to put this away? Great trouble here. Can he get it fully locked in? Stunning display of power. I'm not quite sure if this... Man, how do you get out of this? Oh, look at that. What a great counter. Ooh, kick right to the gut. Rose looking to end this. Looking to put his opponent on Dream Street. Crossroads. Cody Rhodes just might have finished things. I can't believe that this whole arena is in shock. Yeah, but no one's more shocked than the man who thought he had a pinfall. You gotta wonder what more Cody has to do to put him away here. He's got him in the crosshairs. Cody Rhodes gonna fly. Cody Cutter! Cover! Two! has done it. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. He really wanted this one bad. Yeah, what a major win for him here. With a win like that, he just stood up and commanded the attention of everyone in the WWE Universe. I think they've noticed, Byron. Uh, trash talking as the bell rings and we're underway. Oh, oh, no. right down. That poor ref. This is not the way to kick things off. Is that an official start? The referee was able to start the match, so we are proceeding with this match. We all know just how much a calculated attack like that could affect the course of this match. Getting a leg up on the competition is the name of the game, Saxton. Work smarter, not harder. Jumping knee drop. So precise. Just disrespectful. Uh-oh, this is just vicious. No. Hope it ended here. He kicks out before two. You don't get paid by the hour, so nothing wrong with trying to wrap things up. Uh-oh. Slingshot set time. Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. And planted them with a the well-executed DDT. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Styles is taking charge. AJ's really turning it up now. Corey, we talk a lot about how phenomenal AJ Styles is, a surefire Hall of Famer. I imagine that has to be somewhat overwhelming in terms of trying to measure up against someone like that. Absolutely it is, Cole, but you can't let that get to you in a matchup like this. Otherwise, you've already lost. You might not be able to out-wrestle him, but if you can outsmart Styles, you have a fighting chance. 
backbreaker. He could pin his opponent right here. He's able to kick out before two. Doesn't bow well if you still can't get more than a one count by now. Uh-oh. Great counter. Styles, Styles rolls through. And the ropes save him there. But will he be able to last much longer? Oh, Ruth was striking. Oh, it's not going to be good. This is not going to be good. The Brain Buster. He may get the three count right here. This is it. And he kicks out of the pen in one. Wow. I think we all know what Styles wants next. Arms trapped. Styles clash. Does Styles finish the job here? There's two. And that'll about do it, folks. Here is your winner, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Well, you can't help but think it was the cheap shot that secured the victory here tonight. Look, sometimes you do what you have to do to win, and in this case, it paid off. I have no idea how you can call what they did winning. More like surviving. And considering what they did to survive, I don't see it as very fulfilling. When surviving. Here comes Alexa Bliss. And Lily, too. Whoa. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Columbus, Ohio, Alexa Bliss. It seems like Alexa is back from the dark side, but she brought back a friend, Lily. Uh, I wish she hadn't. Oh, don't be jealous, Saxton. We know your favorite doll recently popped. We are seconds away from another moment of bliss. Blissful for us, not for her opponent. Here comes the pride fighter. And a woman who is all about the power. And from Shimon, New Jersey, Sonya Deville. Well, if you look up power hungry in the dictionary, a Pretty sure you'll see Sonya Deville's picture. All you need to know, Byron, is Sonya is here to take what she deserves and take it forcefully. Disciplined, driven. In fact, the day that Sonya Deville graduated high school, she packed up her car, drove down to South Florida, and began training full-time in mixed martial arts. The always unpredictable Alexa Bliss stepping into the ring tonight, and she's really taken us on a journey the last few years, hasn't she? been able to tell whether she's coming or going for a while now. But the one thing that's always remained consistent is her in-ring intelligence and that mean streak she can activate in an instant. Now that she seems to have settled into a groove, I think that'll serve her well. I think you might be right, Corey. Facing off against Sonya Deville. What I really like about Sonya is that she's never once changed her tune. Friend, foe, whoever, she'll walk over anyone if it gets her where she wants to go. Can't say that I personally condone it, but no deny that as both a competitor and a matchmaker, she's left a mark few superstars can equal. The rapid shots right to the gut. Oh, a flurry of strikes. Dominating shoulder tackle. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Ooh, what a forearm club. 
Bliss avoids the attack. 110th Street. Here's a cover. The referee clearly noticed she was on the ropes. DeVille clearly feeling mighty proud of herself right about now. Oh, right to the throat. Great move. Big time spine buster. Could lead to a big time win. Oh, the knee just being torn apart now. Alexa Bliss has seen a lot of success here in WWE. I imagine that has to be intimidating when you're facing off against her, right, Corey? I mean, it can be, Cole, but a lot of Alexa Bliss's success comes from her confidence, which her opponents often can't match. She gets in their head. If you can be just as confident as Bliss, or even more so, you can have a fighting chance to actually do it. Monster set up in the corner. Clearly waiting for that. Uh-oh. Dragon Slaper. Uh, it's in. It's in tight. It's in deep. The Dragon rolls through, and she's free. Power oh, drop kick. Mastermind boot. Oh, reminding her that she did not come here to play games. Turns that back on Sonya. Elbow smash. A nice shot by Alexa Bliss. Nice takedown. Ooh, what a forearm club. Rapid shots right to the gut. Oh, my God. First. And now thrown back into the ring. Oh, head kick connects. Pow, what a knee. Few know how to be as abrasive as Sonya Deville. Counters that. Slows that down with a well-placed kick. Tony Deville, series of kicks. Oh, followed by a nest. And she goes for the pin. Sonya Deville wins. Here is your winner, Sonya Deville. They just won a very important match. Show up. Get the W and get out. Not a bad night's work, I'd say.